Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Gears here, so I'm gonna do a brief rundown on Liberty Meadows. Gotta say, Frank Cho's art's pretty great, and it's cool because I've never really thought of him as a writer, even though he does have a book by Boom Studios called Skybound. So, I know he gets a lot of shade for drawing very, very um, voluptuous women, right? Let's just put it like that. But Liberty Meadows is pretty fun because it is a group of people working at this place called Liberty Meadows, named after the title of the book, which is like an animal uh, restoration reservation um, hospital center. And all the animals are anthropomorphic, actually. Uh, so they're talking and holding normal conversations. One of my favorites, um, he's like a pig with a backwards uh, baseball cap, smokes cigarettes. He's a chain smoker. Um, he always gets into stuff. And you have Brandy, who's the, uh, the main character that you see on the covers, right? Uh, and she's a therapist, psychiatrist um, with animals. And you have Frank, who's the scrawny uh, dork character with the glasses. And... It's neat because it's a comic strip, right? It was originally in a newspaper that Frank Cho uh, was involved in when he was in uh, college. And when he left, he decided to go to Image Comics to get it published. So I have the volume one, which is the bound volume of the first eight collected issues by Image. And it's a black and white comic. So if you're looking for something that's pretty fun, fast paced, um, a lot of pop culture references for the time that when it came out and just want something fun, this is definitely a shot. It's definitely uh, something I'd encourage people to give a chance to check out if you want something refreshing, uh, different, um, not necessarily something too serious. It's it's, it's a good read, and um, I'm probably going to pick up the next couple. Frank Cho's art and just being able to squeeze in all this action and pack a nice, uh, fun story in these smaller panels is actually impressive in itself, just doing that. So many people wastes up two or three pages of filler so for someone to squeeze in half a page six panels and make the jokes land every time for the most part is pretty impressive so with that being said guys uh, i wanted to see if y'all have ever heard of liberty meadows or if you've read it before what were your opinions of it um is it something that you'd be interested in maybe uh, checking out uh going ahead and picking up one of the trades or i think they do have all the volumes uh, in a collected like omnibus type format deluxe edition i think i think it's called book one actually um i don't know if they're a book two i don't know if he's even gonna continue writing on that or do more stuff in the future i would actually be really interested in that i uh, have like a one shot or maybe a trade paperback or something like that i it's like what happened to the characters after the book wrapped up or whatever but yeah guys um I'll catch you in the next.